Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. So we've put the, the Mini onto this jig and what we're going to do now is going to put this bar from uh, front to back uh, because basically what happens is these rollover jigs are fine but what happens is they'll tend to sag or they'll tend to go in so you've got the, the weight on the back and the weight on the front and then basically they're kind of at an angle like that so you need the bar to get them absolutely straight and you'll see this in a minute uh, when we put the bar in. What we'll do now is we'll put it in and make an incision in the back here and take it onto the back one. But you can see there's the dashboard in. Uh, very basic but it's in. And what we'll do now is take this centre piece out and put the bar all right the way through. And uh, you might be thinking well are you sure it'll go through? Yeah, absolutely, because the original bar went through where the speedo head is and that's more space in there than the original speedo head, so there should be no problems whatsoever, he says with confidence. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll show you what we're up to. You can see, I've got the screws out, this is such a nice fit, we don't even have to... That's out of the way, man. Right. Uh, that's the one, yeah. Oh, space. Look at that. Jack up the car a little bit. Yeah, the problem is, is this is slightly higher than this, but it will know it's straight at least. So can you just mark around that? Well, you've already got this point. Right, so you're going to cut it. Yeah. Easier for working with. Right. So. Okay, it's not there. Do you want it? Push it forward. Push it. Yep. That's good enough. So basically you can see we just leave it like that because the nice thing about it is flat and it's easy to weld. So uh, we'll push the bar through and see how it goes. So just a second. So now we have to now we'll have to lift this one off the ground, won't we? Uh, this, this piece. Yeah, we need to take that. Middle. So this is the, this is the bit that we we made up before onto that seat belt anchor under there. So now this has to come out and the bar takes its place. Just want to show you this is we're putting the bar in place now, and I just want to show you the difference. So we've got a hydraulic jack in the middle, and I'll lift it, and you'll see how much the bend is uh, without without the bar in the middle and how much you have how much it needs to be straightened up so I'll lift it and show you what I mean you can see there the bend in it now that's off just coming off the ground now but when I come down all right okay good it's just, you're just doing the back bolts up when I come down now watch watch the bar it's very hard to get this you can see how the bar moving forward. You see how it's moving forward here? So he's gonna put the bolts in the front now. So what I'll do, I'll just bring it up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. I wish you could get the there you go. Just 
just come down a bit. More down. I'll try that one. Yeah, that's nice. Then. Uh, I can bring it more to the front if you want. Leave this under because it keeps it out of the way, doesn't it? Keeps it straight. So, so there you go. You can see exactly uh, the difference, and you can see the bar is in there completely. So this is why this bar from front to back, and this company that's making these rollover jigs in the UK, they've realised that this centre bar is, is imperative if you're doing the shell, if you're doing the floors. And they actually now make a extension bar from front to back, which you can buy optional, of course, that you can buy with a kit because they've realised that having the jig on the front and just on the back is not enough. Not if you're taking out a lot of a uh, lot of metal out of the floor. Um, so, yeah, I hope that's of some interest here. So, uh, and up here, I'll just take you around. Sorry, that legs get in the way. Here you can see this is the the back end setup, and this is the piece that we made when we don't need the bar. Is <laughs> is here, and you can see it just basically it's, it's on an angle extends here into that box section, which goes on there like that. So that's how it works. Um, you can see it's a nice working height. Um, you can see it's up at a bit of an angle, even though it's straight when it's when it's upright. But that's usual with these jigs. Uh, the floor on this is in really good condition. So what, the next job we're going to do is, if you look here, you can point it out. You can see this one at the end here. We've cut it open. So they've been oh, they put these overseals on. Made a really good job. You can barely see the seam. It's been welded really nicely. But what we're going to do is open up these um, so at least there's some air and some ventilation going around it because they do trap water. And make it rusty and it is a race car so what we'll do now is we'll cut all these across on both sides so that the car can at least vent and stop uh, the humidity staying inside it which is what rots out the panels underneath because the inside's fine so what we'll do is now is he'll show you he's going to rotate it and put it back up the right way and you can see how easy that is to for one person to do it you can see it's good See how easy that rotates. There you go. And that's uh, and that's all she wrote. The lock's on. And then what we do? So you can see on this particular one that um, you've got you can adjust it here on this height on this T-bar, and then you can adjust it on this leg as well. So what we've done is adjusted it on the leg because we needed the height for the roof. Um, and, and so you've got two forms of adjustment, one here and one there. Uh, so the nice thing about that is it means you can put just about any body on the car as long as the as long as the frame is made to, to suit. This this frame here was made to suit an E-type, and we've so far we've had three models. We've had uh, what two E-types on it, two XKs. The bars had to be longer for the XKs, obviously, and then minis. And I think this is the just the second mini, third mini, third, third mini we've done. Yours, yeah, yeah. one, red one. Yeah, so it's, there's been three minis on it. I think I think my beige one, uh, most of it was done on the on the old jig that we had that Alex Hart's now got, and he's yeah. let on to somebody. So there you go. That's but this uh, this bar from end to end, whether it be tubular, whether it be box section, oblong, whatever, you definitely need something, or you're going to get this effect. I think most people have seen that. It's not good. So, there you go. So, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby, and you'll see this man in a week. No, what, 10 days? 10 days. 10 days. So, bye for now. Bye, guys.